Hello, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to announce the giveaway winners for my 4K giveaway and then I have some books that I want to share with you. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. So Color Tree Creations, if I'm right, that is Angie. So if you will contact me over on Facebook, I will get it out to you. So thank you so much, all of you, for entering my giveaway. Thank you, Angie, for winning. That's so amazing. And um, before you know it, we'll be to 5K, and that's going to be a pretty big one, and I think I'll have some sponsors to help me with that one. Thank you, all of you. So now into some fun stuff. I stopped at a used bookstore yesterday, and I picked up some books for all of you. These are nature books, and I'm putting them in my shop. Um, I got some for myself and then these ones are for you guys. I really think that you'll like them. The link, um, the links are down below. So the first one is the American Garden Association Perennials Garden Guide. And what I love about this book is the spiral binding. So when you tear these pages out, you have that really nice edge and these flowers um, and the information on them are just beautiful these are just so pretty tucked into tuck spots made into journal cards all sorts of things like that so there there is oh gosh 192 pages these are used books so there may be like little writings or scribblings or you know they're used this one is from 1992 and I just really like it. I struggled with wanting to keep this one for myself, but I do have a lot of flower books with images like this, so I thought it was time to share. <laughs> so this is the first one, Perennials. And then this one I think you guys will like. If you like Edith Holden, it reminds me of a little more modern version of that. I've never seen this book before. It's called Letters from Eden, A Year at Home in the Woods. And um, first, if you like to make covers into books, look at this beautiful cover that you can turn into kind of like a square junk journal. There's a little writing in the front. So this has a whole bunch of like nature sketches and things in it and drawings and it's just beautiful, beautiful um, nature drawings. And these are great to turn into journal cards to put as pages in your journals. Look at those little dartles. So there's just, oh, look at these. Oh, so beautiful. Again, I struggled to keep this one or not, but I'm trying to keep space on my shelves, or not keep space, but to have all my books fit on my shelves and not to get too many. And I just really thought you guys would like this one. So I'm sharing. Anyway, I've only shown you some of the pages. There's a lot. Uh, there are 224 pages. So um, that's quite big. Oh, and the year on this one, it was given as a gift in 2011. I think this is a 2006. This one, oh, you guys, there'd be no way I was giving this to you, except that I got also got another Audubon book. So I'm trying to make myself not hoard this one. This is The Living World of Audubon. And what I love about this book, it's paperback, so you don't feel too bad about ripping the pages out. It's nice and big, and these pages are so vintage looking. They're already, like, aged. Um, this is an older book, uh, 74, looks like. 80 something in there but look at these images they are just beautiful and there's so many of them and so I got another Audubon bird book so that is why I'm sharing this one and um, it's just so pretty look at those hummingbirds and these are nice big pages so they're so gorgeous to fold in half and put in your nature journals look at that oh, you guys so I'm not even showing you all the pages. There's a lot. There's 144 pages, if you include the index. So there's that one. And then this one, The Random House Book of Perennials, Volume 2, Late Perennials. I have the Volume 1, I think, and that was the book I was taking pages from for the um, yellow floral junk journal we did last month and um, I was going to keep this I, I was going to keep them all for myself but I still have a lot of pages in that other book and even though these images are different they're similar layout so I thought you guys would like this one because not only are all these so perfect for journal cards because you can back them with scrapbook paper or coffee dyed paper and you have 
probably hundreds of journal cards, but you've got to see these full page panels. And this is that really nice kind of like sort of matte or barely just barely semi-gloss so they look really nice in a journal they're not super glossy and um there's a lot look at these full page plus lots of like little ones these are these type of books i love just sitting down and cutting them out while i'm watching tv and then i have a stack to clip in my journals or glue on my journals or sew to my journals look at these so gorgeous so um this is Two, or 252 pages if you include the index and it is from 91 1991 then there is a classic illustrated edition favorite fairy tales and the images in this are so cute I think it's from the 90s I mean look at that snow white and rose red how cute um 91 your snowdrop there's so many different stories in here puss and boots um, Rumple Stiltskin. Here's Snow White and Rose Red. Jack and the Beanstalk. Tom Thumb. Cinderella. And I just love the illustrations because they're not exactly traditional. Here's Rapunzel, Aladdin. They're just really, really, really neat. And there are like a hundred and something or other, 117 pages in that one. And then the last one <clears throat> is called The Backyard Bird Lover's Guide, Attracting, Nesting, Feeding. And this is from 96. And there's just all sorts of like little pictures. There's diagrams. All these are so cute to like cut out. Um, I, all sorts of different birds. You know me and birds. I wanted to keep it, but I have so many bird books. <laughs> How cute the Harris Sparrow so I thought some of you might like um, this the bookstore that I have I'm getting used to it it takes me about 35 minutes to get there so I don't get there very often but I know what section to go to I know what they carry I know what I'm looking for and so I feel like not all of you might have access to these type of books so um, I'll see if you guys like these 310 pages of bird goodness so I hope that you enjoy these. Please let me know in the comments below, even if you decide not to purchase one of these or if there's one you like and someone else already purchased it and it's gone, uh, please let me know that in the comments below. Like, um, I'd really like to see certain type of books or I really like the Audubon book or I went to go purchase the Perennials book and it was sold out. That way, when I go back, I'll have an idea of what you guys liked. So links down below. Thank you all for watching and congratulations again to Color Tree Creations.